Good morning, this is Duane, and today I'd like to talk about the 2x2 two two broken chord technique. The 2x2, two two. you know what a 2x2 two two is in lumber, don't you? A 2x4, two 2x2? Two two. Well, this is a 2x2 two two chord, and it works like this. In any four note chord, let's say I'm playing F major 7th, I'm just going to play two of those notes instead of four, okay? But it's not just any two, I have to leave a hole between two of the notes. In other words, if I, if I, if I play those two, then I'm leaving that one out, right? And then if I play the other two, I'm leaving that one out, right? So I'm playing all four notes, but not at the same time. Get your hand on the piano and just do that with me for a while. It'll feel awkward at first, but the more you do that, you'll get the idea. And it can do be done with any four note chord. Let's say you have F minor 7. Let's say you have D minor 7. Doesn't have to be a seventh chord, but it's a little easier if the notes are spread out like that, okay? Now, here's how it came into being. I, I have a friend here living in the Rogue Valley, who's a great jazz pianist. In fact, she was a very famous jazz pianist at one time and used to travel with the big names in jazz. Her name is Patty McCoy. Stage name was Pat Moran, if you want to look her up. And uh, I was over at her house one, one day. She just lives a couple of miles from me. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. She just lives a couple of miles to me, and I was over at, from me, and I was over at her house one day and watching her play. And uh, she was doing this kind of thing. And I said, what is that called, Patty? What is that called? And she said, what do you mean? Well, you know, what you're doing in your, in your right hand there. What, what is that? I'm just playing chords. I know, but you're not playing the whole chord. Yeah, I played two, of, two by two. I just play two and leave one out and play another one. Well, what's that called? Well, I don't think it's called anything. It's just I'm breaking up the chord. <clears throat> I said, well, you're straddling the middle note, right? In each case. She said, yeah. So I was teaching at that time. I I had a piano, piano studio called Piano University. So I named it the Straddle, and uh, taught it to my students. And then that that kind of spread, and a lot of other piano teachers picked it up. And so it's generally known now as the Straddle. But it came from that two by two technique that Patty played way back years ago. And so it, it rightfully should be called the Patty McCoy. Uh, two by two straddle, <laughs> but in any case, that's how it's done, and that's how the name, uh, where the name came from, and uh, it's it's very useful in breaking up a chord and getting that kind of sound. Of course, it'd be done in any rhythm. That's <clears throat> I'm sliding off some <clears throat> excuse me I'm sliding off some black keys there, but it's the same idea. So let's do it slow together. Let's take say D minor seven. Two, 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 two. E minor seventh. F major seventh. Okay, and that's all there is to that technique. Two, one. When it, whenever you have time to break up a chord as a filler, let's say you're playing along smoothly. Hear that? That was a, that was a filler after the first phrase of that song that I put in based on the the, the two by two uh, broken chord otherwise known as a straddle. So that's the tip for today. If you like these tips, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for them because we have one most every day and you'll get a series of lessons on chords and chord progressions and so on and I think you're going to love it. So see you there and see you again tomorrow too. Bye-bye for now.